Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I am Swam from Decreto. Today in this video, I will show you how you can create blur zoom effect using Elementor Pro. Here you used Elementor custom CSS feature. So if you have not Elementor Pro, I will put the Elementor Pro link in the description. You can download from there. And you will have to know, don't have to pay something extra. Just we will earn a small commission from your download links to continue our YouTube channel. So let's move on the video. If you can see the I mean my website that if I'm hovering on any cards like number one cards, you can see only whenever I hover on the card, the card will zoom over effect and the rest of the cards will bloody. Like if I'm two hovering on two, it will come and three the as like it is to worth one, it's come. So let's see how you can do that with using some custom CSS but don't worry you will i will upload the custom css in the description you can just download it from paste it here so as you can see in my plugin dashboard the elementor pro is now activated in my website and if you hover on elementor also you can see that the elementor pro is now activated now let's move on the elementor editor page so i'm gonna delete this whole things so let's delete the section also now as you can see in, this is the blank page elementor canvas template so here is nothing the blank now select one column structure so click on column structure now i'm selecting one column structure and make some height so go to default height minimum height and then select vh and i'm giving it to full 100 then click on plus icon and replace the inner section here and duplicate one once more column and now click on the plus icon and select heading so i'm choosing a heading and if I'm writing 01 and let's make it to alignment center style tab go to the style tab and text color will be so at first keep the background color to looks good as like before so go to the section and go to the style tab and here is our background color so let's make it to like this black color not pure black so let's click on the text and then make the text white and now click on typography let's make it to poppins font and then the weight will be 800 and the size will be I'm giving it to 100 pixel or something so let's make it to 100 now it's looking good now slave place the text editor so paste editor and then go to the style tab let's make it to center and text color will be pure white then typography choosing it to poppins font so here is the poppins font now let's make some buttons so here is the button place the button here now let's make it to center go to the style tab and now just click on the text typography and the letter spacing i want to, i don't want to give some letter spacing as you can see this is the letter spacing so let's make it to zero now it's looking good now font family choosing again poppins font and now size will be i'm giving it to 14 pixel so then go to the content sorry goes to style tab and text color i don't want to change the text and make the transparent background and border type will be solid and width will be one and the width color will be pure white now if i'm hovering on the button it will nothing so go to the hover options and text color choosing the black and then the border color also doing good and the background color will be pure white so if I am now hovering, you can see a cool effect will come. Now click on the columns and then go to the style tab. Let's make some background color. So I am choosing blue color like this. And then go to the border and make some border dash too like 10 pixel. Now it's looking good. Go to the update button. Before update go to the advanced tab and just unbind this margin. And right will be 10 pixel and left will be. 10 pixel so now let's duplicate once more duplicate once more now delete rest of the columns so i'm deleting this and then change the text color sorry text like one two numbering and then if i'm changing to three now it's looking good just update it after updating if i refresh this page now you can see the card of the card is now ready but we have to give some padding space so let's make the space padding i'm giving it unbend this and then top will be i'm giving it to 50 pixel bottom will be 50 pixel 
and right will be 20 left will be 20 so let's make the bottom to 30 and the top will be 30 and before just doing anything I am copying this and then paste the column style here and again paste the column style now all will be same style now if I am just refresh this page now so it's looking awesome now we have to put some CSS to make the blur zoom effect so where is the CSS I will upload the CSS all CSS snippets in the description you have to just copy it and download and just paste that on the custom CSS so here's my CSS so I'm copying the whole CSS and then copy it and then where to paste it just click on this inner section make sure that you have click on the inner section so now the card option the cards are ready to use and if you if i'm just hovering on it it will be nothing because we don't put any css or nothing so now time to put the css to make the blur zoom effect so here's the css i will upload all the css snippets in the description you can have to just download it and then paste it upon the elementary css so before doing the cf putting the css click on the columns and then you have to put some css classes right we have to put some css classes like if you have to put a CSS ID otherwise it will not work so you have to put CSS ID like you have to select card right you have to select CARD card you can also write in uh, as your choice I will also understand I will tell you how I am choosing only card text so let's make the card and then also copy it and paste upon the rest of the columns go to the advanced tab and CSS classes will be card again if I am writing card and then also in the three number three columns you have to put the CSS classes like card now click on update after just click on update here is the CSS so I'm just copying the whole CSS snippets and then click on the inner section make sure that you click on the inner section go to the advanced tab and here is the custom CSS you can just paste upon there so let's paste this like this now I'm just if I'm just update this page and close this elementor bar now if i'm hovering now we can see the cool blur zoom effect using elementor custom sys now if i'm hovering on two as you can see it will the card is now zoom up and the other cards are the rest of the cards is blurry so it's not it cool this is the just custom CSS power so you can use anything or you can just create amazing creativity with the elementor custom CSS so if you have learned something new today please hit the like button and subscribe this channel to get more videos like elementor wordpress and if you have any questions about the this video then please go drop down your questions in the comment section we will reply very shortly see you in the next video till then bye bye thanks for watching